will be seeing about the territory management territory management allows you to organize your sales structure into separate territories based on geographical location organization attributes verticals or any other criteria that best suits your organization so now to get started let's click setup First, we go to enable the territory settings. Let's keep the default as it is so that the access gets restricted and click save. Yeah, it's saved. Now let's create a territory type. The territory types and models get activated once you enable the territory settings. You click on create new territory type. I'm just giving it a name called manage accounts. click save okay yeah priority is important I'm giving it as hundred so that I have space for other types before and after now let's go to territory model Let's, I'm just creating the obvious ones for you to guess, like North, South, East, West. It's in the planning state. So all the territory models that you create will be in the planning state. And once, and you, uh, for you to use it, you have to activate those. And the things to consider over here is once you activate it, you cannot change it to planning state. You can only archive it. And once you archive it, you can't reactivate it. So you have to be sure before you activate and go on. Our territory model connects your territory, user assignment, etc. We click on view hierarchy. So hierarchy also shows how territory is grouped inside the territory type. We can have different territory models created depending on how complex our organization sales organization is or how frequently change the structure goes or how uh, is the trafficking between the users. So I click on create territory. As is any name under the model select the territory type then i give save and new i can create another territory inside the same parent model Click save. So over here we can see the territory access levels. So these levels can be edited by clicking on edit or while creating the particular territory. So we can change it over here. And also only accounts and filter based opportunity can be assigned from here. And we can also add uh, accounts and users by using manage users and add accounts. Let me show you how do you create a rule. So a rule identifies one or more characteristics you use to identify that territory and the territory enterprise management assign those accounts to those in that territory. 
so uh, let me give this a uh, rule as I can also apply this rule to its descendants like you can have the descendants as your cities inside Texas but I'm not checking this checkbox right now now we when we have added the assignment rule let's go to the model view hierarchy let me click on run rules so uh, if a territory model is in planning state running a rule lets you preview account assignments so if your territory model is in active state when you run the rule the accounts or the assignment gets added to the territory so running is just a test that gives you a chance to make changes if you would like to before you activate your model Let me show you how you can add accounts to this territory. I'm adding this account and I click assign. Yeah, this account has been added. I can also click on manage user to add users into this territory. As of now, I'm just the only user in my salesforce org so okay now that we have added users accounts we have to see how this territory assignments are seen in an, any account record detail page and how this user assigned to this particular territory is being shown in that particular record detail page so account let me click any account for now and express logistic and transport okay anyways we do not have uh, that related territory related list in the account layout so this is the account that we have assigned a territory with so we do not have so let's edit the object go to layout layout related list users in assign we can drag this and then assign territories yeah and then we click save now we go in this account yeah so we can see this account has been assigned to the territory named texas and then user so one advantage of using territory management would be reporting so reporting is uh, especially helpful because it lets you gauge territory sizes by uh, the account the account data such as number of employees or the annual revenue etc reporting is just one advantage of an enterprise territory management you can use territory management in many number of ways for a number of advantages for your sales team 